and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So, as you guys may notice, today I'm doing my review of Shawn Mendes' Signature Number no. 2. This fragrance launched this year, 2018, and as the title shows you, it is Shawn's second fragrance. Now, if you're a fan of my channel and you've watched me for a while, you might notice my background's changed a little bit since the last time I uploaded the video. The powers of pre-filming to make it look like this happened overnight, and it really didn't. Um, I've actually been working on this for a while. But what do you guys think? Like, I know I'm probably going to get... I'm going to move here in a second so you guys can see this. But I'm probably going to get, like, the most internet trolling in the world for this. So, obviously we've got my Taylor Swift Reputation Blanket... or Reputation Blanket. Fearless Blanket. But this is my Reputation Box for going to the tour, and then these are Killer Queen. I know, I know they buried the hatchet, I know it's over, but still, I feel, I just, when I did that, I was like, but so pretty, I can't not do it, like, I have to leave it there, and I was like, I don't care what they do, whatever, so, anyway, the box looks like this this time, and it's very similar to the original one, you've got the guitar in the middle that, like, I, I think this is like a Sean tattoo, actually, I know it is a Sean tattoo, um, I think it's, what I meant was, like, I think it's, like, the Toronto skyline going down the forest. Now, the only difference from that one to this one, the last time it was blue, um, and the guitar stuck out a little bit more, and there was kind of, like, a pattern to it. This time, they definitely did decide to go a little bit more muted, a little more, like, just metallic -y is what they're more going for. Like, it's really kind of hard. Everything's, like, beige on beige on beige, or, like, off, like, off gray, off white off brown like they're all it's like this weird in person you'll kind of notice it like this is really picking up like lights and reflections but um everything is very like says Shawn Mendes signature 2 on the front for men and women um for home for home you know all the fun junk but like this is if I can reflect it it's so much easier like this looks so much easier to read than it really is a person like in person it's really kind of like that like it is kind of harder to read in person not a big no, not a big deal but so the bottle looks like this this time and it is the same bottle that we got with Shawn Mendes the first one which no big deal they just changed the bottle color and then the top up here is like a muted beigey silver um instead of it being like the brassy gray or brassy goldish color we got last time so like there's a definite difference in the top and the guitar picks and all that fun stuff um the bottle, though, threw me off. When I first saw pictures for this and I first saw everything for it, I was like, okay, cool. Like, we're getting the Shawn Mendes bottle, but with, like, you know, the Kim K look to it. Because I really thought, like, just color-wise, that that was going to be, like, it was going to have that rocky texture. And I know that, like, male colognes sometimes have that. So I thought that's what we were going to get. And I was wrong. It's just painted on there. And, I mean, the whole bottle is painted. But, like, I don't like this. I just... Painted bottles, when they're painted white or they're painted, like, in a strict color like this without any labeling on it, just, they don't do nothing for me, and I, I just, I want something nest to my bottles, you know? So, I don't know where I put my phone. My phone has my notes. Okay. Um, so the fragrance notes this time are pineapple, green pear, and ginger oil, base notes are apricot blossom, ladanium, and fir balsam, with base notes of sugar maple accord, walnut, wood, and amber tonic. So... I definitely think this one is more male or more m m masculine, um, while his first one was definitely more feminine. This one, he's definitely playing with those, like, some of those very signature uh, male cologne notes, and they're definitely in there, like, you kind of, like, catch a whiff of it, and it's definitely a masculine scent that you're catching the whiff of, and... But it still has, like, a little bit of a sweetness. Like, if you smell this right next to the other one, you can smell, like, the DNA that they share. Um, they both kind of have that maple in there, that sugared maple, with a little bit of vanilla-ness to it. It's, like, the nose outlet that has a note in this fragrance, but, like, they both share this, like, van sugary, maple-y, vanilla thing. It's hard to describe. But this one is definitely more masculine. So I've already sprayed it on here before I start filming, and, like, when you first spray it, like, in the opening, you definitely get, like, the green pear, and you get, like, a little bit of, like, it's mostly green pear. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest with you. In the opening, you're getting, a, like, a lot of the, the, um, the pear, 
and then it's got a little bit of a pineapple in there, so it gives it a little bit of a tropicalness, a little bit of a juiciness in the opening. Um, but then, what is my camera doing? I don't know. Okay, sorry. Distractions. Anyway, um, but it's definitely that ginger oil that you can smell, and you can really smell it. It definitely adds a more masculine edge to this fragrance, and as it starts to dry down, it definitely becomes more and more masculine, and but still keeps this unisex, um, slightly feminine vibe, but definitely, definitely more on the masculine side. Like, I definitely can see Sean wearing this himself. Um, that floral heart, you get a little bit of the florals, but that fur balsam kind of comes out and really presents itself. But after the, dr the top kind of dr dries down, and you get a rid of, like, the pineapple, and you get rid of, like, the pear, you're left with the ginger oil, and it kind of stays right throughout the whole fragrance, and mixes with the woodiness as it starts to dry down even more, and creates this really sexy, woody, slightly oily fragrance, and I don't want that to be bad, like, you to think of it in a bad way, like, when you smell it, you'll kind of get it, like, ginger oil, you'll know that it's ginger oil in there, instead of it being, like, a ginger essence, because it's definitely not dry. Um, the whole fragrance is very, like, crisp and woody and, like, warm. I definitely feel like this could be a fall scent, but I definitely feel like this could be, like, someone's signature scent. Definitely could be someone's, like, a male signature scent. Like, this one, um, if you have it and you smelled it, it definitely does have a similarity to Britney Spears' private show. While this one, I would definitely think is more masculine or have more similarities to some male colognes out there. I don't have a lot of the male colognes. I do have some kind of spattered around this room. Um, but I really don't have very many, like two, three, four, maybe. And this does have kind of a generic -y masculine edge to it, but it's not like super masculine and super woody that it smells like your grandpa. But on the other side of it, it's still got like the fruits in there and the florals in there to kind of lighten it up and you've got the sugar of maple in the base and that really really helps it kind of stay sweet and kind of stay you know on the feminine side and giving it that little bit of a feminine edge but lasting power is amazing like i sprayed this on this morning on my arm and i could still smell it like hours later like let's see i put this on at nine o'clock this morning it is currently 10 30 and, like, I, it, you can still smell it, like, in here where I sprayed it. And it just, it's a really nice fragrance. But I don't like male fragrances. And for that reason, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Like, it does have a more masculine edge. I would be more prompt to wear this one over this one. But even that being said, I do tend to go more toward, like, what is classified as like perfumey so it's not a surprise to me that the masculine edges in this kind of turn me off so don't take me saying that it's masculine and i don't prefer this one as anything bad i just don't like i really like the crisp clean sweet girly beautiful florally you get where I'm going. I like the girly perfumes. And this one is definitely more edgy. It is definitely more unisex. Um, I'm just... If it's if it geared more toward the middle unisex, I don't like it. I just It's just how I am. But it's still a really, really good fragrance. And it definitely, when you smell them together, you can definitely smell the DNA and see where Sean's line is continuing. I just like this because I definitely think Sean wears it himself. And my roommate wore this today. Um, I had her wear it. I wanted to smell it on her. And it smells amazing on her. Like, she said that she loves it. She's like, I might actually go out and buy a bottle of it. Even though she, her room is literally on the other side of that wall. Where she could just come in here. She's like, I'm going to go out and buy this. So, that tells you something. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Shawn Mendes Signature number 2. I hope you guys like this. I hope you... I didn't let you down. Who knows? Um, there's definitely more reviews coming soon. Let me know what you guys think. Leave the comments down below. Hit the like button if you guys like this. And hit the subscribe button. That's always helping you guys. I really, really do appreciate you guys. Just recently, like, got to 5,000 or am really close to 5,000, which blows my mind. Like, I don't really pay attention to my YouTube numbers. But, oh my god, you guys. You guys, seriously, like, I wouldn't be here reviewing perfumes still 
if it wasn't for you guys. I started this channel for you guys. You guys liked it, so I continued to put my heart and money into it because you guys like it, and that's what I want to do. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.